Uh, what you're looking at are live scenes of the crypto market after Elon Musk tweets about Bitcoin. We're going to look today at what this tweet is actually about. We're going to look at why this market is actually down. Is this all about Elon Musk or is there something else behind it? And then we're going to look at the most important thing, and that is whether or not this is a buying opportunity. Are we going to buy it now? Are we going to wait? Is this a dip for buying? That is what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you guys all came here knowing that there's no more banter bags. We gave away the last of the banter bags. So kind of like now that you're here, because you actually want to hear what we have to say. And uh, yeah, uh, Joe Blow says life changing. We hope it can change your life, uh, especially when the markets look something like this. I mean, this is, this is a terrible picture. This is a terrible picture. So what caused this picture? Why is this happening? That's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you're new to our channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because this is uh, the most profitable crypto channel, crypto YouTube channel in the whole world. And um, it is the only channel that has the banter bags. And even though we gave the banter bags away to 10 lucky winners, we are giving it away to 10 lucky winners, we will be launching another banter bag. So it's not like the end of the banter bags. There are more banter bags coming. So yeah, don't, uh, you know, if you didn't win the first batch of the banter bags, we are launching them again. But this time they're going to be bigger and much more impressive. So guys, what's happening on the market? Let's take a look at what set this market back. What set this market back was a tweet from Elon Musk where it said, Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but, we cannot, but this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as, uh, as soon as mining transitions to a more sustainable energy. We're also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than Bitcoin's energy consumption. So. This is all about Tesla, and I guess that what happened behind the scenes here was a board member said, hey guys, you know, we're this clean energy company, and we're talking about, you know, changing the world to this new, more efficient energy, and here we are making big announcements of buying $1.5 billion um, of Bitcoin onto our balance sheet. What does this say about us as a company? What is the message that we're sending out? At the same time, they said, uh, probably said, look, we're also accepting Bitcoin, so we're encouraging people to buy this Bitcoin thing. And then they canceled it. And if you look at the Tesla website, the option to pay in Bitcoin was actually removed immediately, 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 immediately. Today on the later show, we talk about fundamentals. We're going to talk about what this actually means. But this show is actually much more about the technicals. So let's bring Sheldon the Sniper in. And then let's find out what the hell we should be doing right now. Sheldino. How's up, buddy? You look very calm, brother. I always calm through these things, I am uh it happens you know what i mean and, and when, when we actually explain it today it's going to calm the whole uh community down and just relax because if i have a look and i think if we, we share you i'm making ethereum so i'm very happy <laughs> uh you know what everyone's panicking today to the usdt but uh if we actually have a look at the charts all i see here on the side is green why? Because it's to the correct currencies. <laughs> we're making yeah. Bitcoin, we're making Ethereum, yet the whole world is panicking that we're not making anything. <laughs> we're making something. This is exactly what we called. This is, I mean, it's, it's actually, actually, ac absolutely uncanny what's going on here. The whole market is crashing, but we're making more Ethereum because we know that we actually want to own Ethereum and Bitcoin at the end of this. Exactly. Small change in mindset. Small change in mindset. I mean, you know, just do me a favor. Call up the dot versus ethereum pair today if you were in dot like we told you to do yesterday you are up 12 percent today well oh, have a look at that huge spark we had during the middle of the night you know it's, it's it's massive to see remember guys it's all going so you know what we had the first dump what happened it was a week ago or a few days ago we had the first dump we had the trigger we said we need you know there has something crazy has to happen in the market for the market to change its sort of style on the way it's been approached and what it's been doing the last few weeks. And we had the first dump. 
which wasn't enough. Why? Because Ethereum just recovered so quick. It still outperformed some of the alts uh, and it still had its, uh, its sort of push. Now we needed the second dump and boom, what has it all of a sudden done? It started to change how the things work. And we're actually going to go through the Ethereum dominance today, which is exciting to, to start charting that, to see how overextended that Ethereum dominance actually is. Uh, and what we've been saying is correct, um, that yeah, now, it had its run. Yeah. I want to just, just show the guy something. If you've been trading, watching any other channel, this is what your portfolio looks like today. So if you've been following all the other crypto channels, this is how they feel today when they look at the markets. If you've been watching Crypto Banter and you followed what we said about we are going to use this cycle to gain more Ethereum and therefore to gain more Bitcoin. And we told you guys, trade out of your Ethereum, trade into Cardano, trade into DOT, trade into Kusama, trade into BCH, trade into um, uh, all the others, Chainlink. To Link, yeah, to, to all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Just quickly, just quickly, quickly click. Uh, ADA versus ETH. You are up. 8%, 9%. Well, so, that's only from this morning. But if you take it from yesterday to where you are now, yeah, 11% up. 11%. Let's go. Next one. Uh, uh, BNB. BNB should be more or less flat if I, if I get it right. Yeah. BNB is settled. And this is the one. Remember, BNB has done tremendous things the last few months. So for okay, it to be a little bit flat for a while, it makes sense. It, uh, it does. Bitcoin Cash also, it's been ridiculous. So it's, for that to be a bit sideways, it makes sense. Um, for um, any of the other ones, so... For, yeah. Don't look at the proof of work coin. So any coin that is mined using proof of work, which is Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, kind of Ethereum, because Ethereum is still on proof of work. It is moving to proof of stake. But let's say Bitcoin, Litecoin, BCH, those are the ones that are going to get hit. But the other coins that we told you to buy, Kusama, look, at if you bought Kusama, you're up 12.2% on Bitcoin. Sheldon, give Today, me the Kusama. But from, 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 from two... There isn't a pair there, but if you have a look, so if you were Kusama from the 11th of May in the last two days, you would make 47% more Bitcoin. Okay, that's absolutely mind-boggling. <laughs> mind-boggling. So Guys, for us, this is not a correction. For us, we, we are actually profitable today. 100%. Of course we are. And we needed this. We needed the turn. And you know what the, the powerful thing is, is, is Bitcoin's had this dump and that dominance didn't pump up. It is quite shocking to see how much love is actually behind these these uh, Bitcoin, uh, the, the altcoins. You know, have a look in the last on the hour chart. Look how this dominance has been trailing. That was during the night last night where everything was dumping. Look how that dominance continued to trail downwards, to trail downwards, to trail downwards. It, it's crazy to see, and that's why these alts are pumping up so quick after the dump. So they still dump with Bitcoin. It's about what bounces faster whenever we get to a support or any level that the market's going to bounce. What's going to bounce quicker? And we can see it clearly. It's the altcoins that are bouncing quicker. Is it Ethereum? Go no, it's not. Luna versus Ethereum. I want to see Luna versus Ethereum. One of the comments here said, let's check out Luna versus Ethereum. I'll see if there is a Luna pair. Some of them don't have. I've lost your sound there. There we go. Okay, you're back. Um, yeah, okay, so there is no Ethereum pair, but there is a Bitcoin pair. And we can obviously see how it's been doing very well to Bitcoin, even in the last two, three days. So if we have a look from where we've been talking about, you know, 11% up on Bitcoin, which is good. And we know that Bitcoin's obviously been doing better than Ethereum. Ethereum's been the one, guys, remember what we've been saying. Ethereum's been the one that is going to get affected more in these dumps. It's gotten to its point. So last night when we had the dump, everything fell. But what we don't understand is what's going to fall quicker. And just by being in the altcoins that we decided to be in, Ethereum fell harder than what those altcoins did, which means that we are actually making Ethereum in that time. So yes, it's a whole damn red day market and where we're sitting in there. But God, that's the US, that's the shitcoin. We said we're well, not going to worry about shitcoin for a while. Nicholas Gassan, we can see you. Sheldino with great calls. Nicholas, do you know that you won the banter bags yesterday? Uh, Fred, no, is he back? back. <laughs> Man, I saw him in the comments. Nicholas, I don't know if you listened to the show yesterday, but you're a winner in our banter bags. Uh, get hold of us. Fred, if you can find Nicholas's comment, put that comment back up so everyone can see who the winner of the banter bags is from yesterday. All right, uh, Shaldino, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a quick look, look at Bitcoin and where we're actually sitting with Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin did break trend. Uh, and that's when we started to accelerate downwards. We had a very quick wick down. Um, 
which means that the, the probability of us going back to those lows are pretty high. We can go back down to the, the 40, I think it went to the low, basically went to $46,000. So it can slowly make our way. Why? Because we know how quickly when this happens and we got a long wick, and we don't slow down. Remember the importance that when we come down, we actually want to slow down, slow down, slow down, and then start moving. But when we have this quick, quick wick candle down, the likelihood of it, it can come down to those zones. We have two options. It's either going to try fight back strongly here first, short term, during today, which means a lot of the redness you see will reduce quite a bit and might even turn to some green for the day, and then maybe come its way down. But there is a very much possibility that we are coming back down to that 46 to come test those lows, capture rest of the liquidity, because it bounced very quickly in that zone. Now, looking at bigger picture, we do still have the next demand zone. Let's first see if we drop the low, which was the main one we spoke about was the 42 to the 44 in that region. We're not sure yet if we are going to get to those levels. Uh, I'm not too worried right now because end of the day, we are choosing to make Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'm not so, so focused on where Bitcoin uh, is leading right now because that dominance is still falling. It's only when that dominance has broken that main short-term trend where I say, okay, whoa, now we really got to focus back on Bitcoin. But that dominance is still collapsing. It's still looking weak as hell. Uh, and the scary part is if it drops 40, we're going all the way to 35. And if it drops 35, we can go to 20. So we still got to see where we're going. But Bitcoin, it is going to have a calm down stage in this phase. It is going to try attempt to get back to that trend line, which means that we have two scenarios. We drop the lower 46, we can definitely go to 42. If we break upwards and we can break back in this trend, which means we get back above 60K, it means we continue the journey. It means that all of this was just to scare the damn market. What happened again yesterday, Ran? What happened to everyone? Liquidated, liquidated, liquidated. You know, for the first time in a long time, I was feeling amazing this morning through a dump with my spot wallet. The only guys that should be crapping themselves is the, the leverage guys. The leverage guys got annihilated, got absolutely destroyed. Doesn't matter what coin you're in, you got destroyed. But as a spot trader, as a normal investor trader, um, it was amazing for me to work. I've never been so calm in my life because Obviously. we have dominance oh. on our side. We, Sheldon, I don't know how to explain this to you. We made money in this dip. <laughs> we have more Ethereum than we had last night. We have more Bitcoin than we had last night. We don't care about shitcoin US dollar. And I'm going to talk to you. Um, the reason why we don't care about shitcoin US dollar is because of the inflation news that came out last night. We're going to be covering that on my show later. We don't care. We made more Bitcoin and more Ethereum. I keep saying it to you. And I, again, I want you just to reiterate this to the viewers because some viewers don't really understand this. Look at Sheldon's coins on the side there against Ethereum. Up. ADA. Up 6.26. Litecoin. Uh, the BNB is just above, but ADA pumping it. Uh, BCH is up. We look at Link, it's up. We look at Theta, it's up. We look at VET, it's up. Uh, we look at Uni, it's up. We look at Kasama, it's up. We look at EOS even after it's run, it's up. Luna's up to Bitcoin. Everything, DOT is completely up. So everything. So we made money because there's no doubt that Ethereum is going to go back up and we've now made more ETH. That's the bottom line. We don't care about uh, making US dollars. We don't give a shit on this channel about this chart over here. Why are we not trading against the US dollar pair? We know the US dollar pair is going to collapse. So we care about cr collecting more good quality cryptocurrencies. And yesterday, we managed to collect more Ethereum. And by virtue of the fact that we managed to collect more Ethereum, we also we landed up making more Bitcoin. Sheldon, take me to the Ethereum dominance, because I think this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So, yeah. I mean, we always talk about Bitcoin dominance, but today I want to talk about Ethereum dominance. 100%. And I think the best way to also sort of understand where we're sitting right now in this market is the normal guys are shitting themselves today. You guys in this community are no more normal traders. You are the smart traders with us now. The normal uh, um, people in the public, just the normal people in this world are crapping themselves today. And what have we learned in this market, guys? What have we learned? Who's buying right now? Ran, who's buying? <laughs> we are. Is, is it the people exactly and who they're buying from 
the the shaky Public. hand. Yeah. <laughs> All the the the, uh, the normal okay. people in the world, they're buying from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are sixteen thousand five hundred people watching us. There's six thousand likes. How do you how do you reconcile this? How do you reconcile? <laughs> don't worry. Uh, by the end of this call, they're gonna be way up there because it's you know, it's, guys, to I'm to be here on these days. This is what me and Rand's about. To be here on these days, not on the ones where everything is going mad. We will be here on these days, and that's what matters. I'll tell you the truth. You know, I'm, uh, Fred's off with COVID. Um, I got vaccinated yesterday, but I feel terrible today. I don't know if I. There's a very small chance that I got COVID before I got vaccinated. This morning I woke up. I wanted to stay in bed. I looked at my portfolio. I thought, this is a day where no matter how bad you feel, you come to the office. And here I am making content for you guys. So, guys, I mean, I, I don't know. All I'm asking you for is to smash the like so we can get more viewers on the stream. Um, Sheldon and I are here for you every single day in the good days, in the bad days. Sheldino, take me to the Ethereum dominance. This is a very important chart that we don't actually usually speak about. That's huge. And then now that we know that Ethereum is one of the big guys and it's, it's sitting with uh, Bitcoin, we're sitting with a lot of the money, it's important for us to start having a look at. Now, the, the Ethereum dominance has shot up. We can see this is sitting on a daily. So that means the last two, three weeks, Ethereum has absolutely been killing everything. It's been taking from all the alts, it's been taking from Bitcoin, it's been taking, we've seen the Bitcoin to Ethereum charts. Now, what we have finally gotten to is we have a huge inverse head and shoulders playing out here at the moment. Which means that later on, probably in the next, I don't know, we'll see in the next two months. So Ethereum is going to absolutely kill it. But that's later right now. Right now, we're looking at the month of May. And we are getting to a very topped out point where our RSI has crossed to the top on the daily, meaning the next two weeks, Ethereum is not going to be the big, big one continuing these massive, massive runs. We have just hit huge resistances. And we are looking at a strong pullback. We've just got the cross in RSI. And we are getting a... Uh, let's just see a very strong candle that's now forming on the daily chart, which means we're looking to engulf the, the previous candle, showing that we're starting to get a reversal in the Ethereum dominance. Now, so, what does that mean to everything now? This means that we've been waiting. It means Ethereum did not hit its top. My opinion, that top that Ethereum made is the top for now. And I'm talking the next week, two weeks. I'm not talking bigger in the future. I'm talking short term. That that was the top for now. Now it's going to calm down. Why? Because there's a lot of fear in Ethereum right now. I, got, I took a knock. If you know it, from 4,300, 4,400, all the way to 3,635, that's quite a drop for, for Ethereum. That's a 20, 25% drop. So that has now shaken everyone a bit. A lot of people are taking profits in Ethereum at the moment. And now it's time to start diversifying. But what this little leg down and this little right shoulder where you can see I've just drawn to the 618 and it just shows us that now it's time for Ethereum's money. It's a big guy. Lots of money to be diversified is going to have this small pullback. And that small pullback big picture means nothing, right? It's absolutely nothing. It still means Ethereum's huge in the future. But for short term, that means if I measure and I look at that just down to that zone, there could be up to 26% of the dominance. This doesn't mean Ethereum is going to go down in value. It doesn't mean that. Because all we we saw Bitcoin held its value for how long? It's held over 50. It's held in the regions. But yet so much money was diversified out of Bitcoin. So much of it from the dominance was put into the altcoins. Doesn't mean the price is going to go down of the actual coin. It just means the main focus is not so much there anymore. So that means that where is that Ethereum going to be diversified to? And that means that there's 26% of the dominance of Ethereum that can be made through being in the right coins. Now, our opinion and what the coins is, firstly, we're choosing the right fundamental coins, and we've been choosing the larger, larger cap coins. Guys, in this bull run, there's so much money to make. We chose the safer coins, not these micro caps and the tiny caps. We said there's a time for that. That's not the time. It was to understand that Cardano.link, these are the ones that are we looking at a strong, strong, strong push. Remember with all these coins, what I said in the beginning of the week was the weekly RSI for us getting to the bottom to all the Ethereum pairs, which meant we still had this week. From next week is when we have the full cross on those RSIs, which means the next six weeks to two months, it's gonna be altcoin time, baby. It's gonna be these bigger alts. And yes, the money uh, at showing that the BTC dominance as well. And I think jumps back to that quickly. Yes, we are expecting a bounce from the Bitcoin dominance, which means Bitcoin's gonna need some money to get it back. There's fear in the market right now. It's gonna need some money back. But what we do realize is it's going to have money backing it from Ethereum. But that Ethereum is also going to be supporting the alts. And 
because Ethereum sucked so much of that dominance, even if dominance goes up with Bitcoin now, I still see a few of these major alts running with Bitcoin, not just Bitcoin. I don't because everything has been sucked from these alts from both directions. And what mainly dropped this Ethereum, uh, this Bitcoin dominance was BNB and, and Ethereum and a lot of the bigger ones, but those were the main ones that sucked this dominance. A lot in this dominance drop was those two big daddies. Now it's time for those big daddies to diversify into the rest, which means if we do get a bounce in Bitcoin and we do get a bounce in dominance, doesn't mean it's just going to be Bitcoin. It's showing us clearly that all of these outs are going to well outperform Ethereum and bigger picture for Ethereum. We know, let's just have a look. We know bigger picture. Do you see how the Ethereum dominance is playing out perfectly to the Ethereum Bitcoin? What do I see here? The exact same pattern. There's the Ethereum dominance. Yes. There's so, the Ethereum to Bitcoin. <laughs> what, is, what does it mean? It means that it's major altcoin time, which is exactly what we said. We're now firmly in phase three of the of the of the bull market, which is what we said. First Bitcoin, then Ethereum. We needed the catalyst. This was the catalyst. We said the catalyst would come two days ago. We had a show. And we said to you guys, the catalyst is coming in the next day or two. I predicted the catalyst would be the collapse of the dog coins. The collapse of the dog coins started to happen last night. I don't know if you guys watched what Vitalik did. Uh, to sink all the dog coins. And I'm kind of glad that he did because the dog coins were killing the gas fees on the ETH network. And I think that's why he did it. I mean, we were paying $250, $300 gas fees because people it's were ridiculous. Dog coins <laughs> on the internet. Ridiculous. But it's not like that anymore. It's fixed now. Uh, I don't know if you trade with gas fees because Vitalik actually dropped all the dog coins. Um, but what actually caused this was an Elon Musk tweet. Okay. So, I mean, you know, that, that's what it is. Okay, so question is, we know it's not time for Ethereum now, but is it Bitcoin time or is it large cap old time? Because I must say, at $49,700, I'm kind of tempted to dip my, water, my, my toes back into Bitcoin. Of course. It might be too soon. It might be too soon. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, to start laddering back into Bitcoin is a good idea, but I'm obviously keeping a good portion to trade for that Ethereum and to trade because, you know what, we got to look at linked to 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 bitcoin we just saw the ethereum to bitcoin and what it's done is this anything yet has, has link really gone to bitcoin just yet this is why the the chart and the roadmap that i'm getting at the moment is there's going to be coins that are going to run with bitcoin now so i do believe it's bitcoin time but i believe there's a few coins that are going to run with bitcoin and, and actually still outperform bitcoin and the reason being is because just to get rid of the WhatsApp here. The reason being is because there's so much of the Ethereum to be able to diversify into these alts too. There's a lot of money in Ethereum. We've got to stop thinking that it's just Bitcoin that, that, that pumps all these coins. You know, if we have the backing of Ethereum to these altcoins, it's nearly just as big as having Bitcoin backing all of these, uh, these alts as well. So like, look at that, that, that link to Bitcoin still got a long way. And obviously having a look at the, the major one, Look at that link to Ethereum. That little candle that we have now is only just the damn start. This is nothing yet to what, what we actually have. We saw last week that little green section. Let me just highlight it there for everyone. That little two candles took link to all-time high. Just that small little two thing, it took link to all-time high. Now, what are we looking for now? We're looking for the next impulse from these coins and the only way you're going to get that is through a shakeout in the market. The only way we're ever going to get a change in the market is if there's a big disruption in the market and something shocks the whole damn crowd. And now what's going to happen is Ethereum is going to get slow. People are going to start getting bored with Ethereum. And what are they going to start to see? They're going to start to see these coins pump. They're going to start to see uh, dots, link, all these coins pump. And they're going to start buying the next coins. It's just the normal mentality of how people work. They want to always chase the green. They want to chase something that's already moving. And if it's not moving, they're getting annoyed and they get irritated. And, and, and that's why. So to the emotion cycle in trading is the most important cycle to learn because it's all of emotions. It's just reading people and how they actually work. Like we said, the question now, and we've been teaching you guys this for, for a very long time. Who's buying right now? The smart people are buying. Who's selling right now? The dumb people are buying. The normal retail is selling right now and they're panicking and thinking, Someone's got to sell for someone to buy. And that's all we've got to understand. So now that we know Ethereum dominance is looking at a strong reversal, which means diversified into the alts. We look at Ethereum to Bitcoin, it's showing us the exact same thing. A pullback coming from Ethereum. That's parabolic, guys. That move, if I remove that, that is big. We're going to have some sort of pullback from that, which means now it is Bitcoin time. 
But if we have a look at the alts to Bitcoin and where they're sitting, Cardano only just broke resistance. Look at that chart. Look how much room we still got for Cardano to, to move against Bitcoin. Look at it to Ethereum. Only just begun. Nice, beautiful RS flip in that zone. We have had nothing yet. Now, the fact that we're showing that these coins have the potential to still outperform, you know, dot to Bitcoin only just broke all time high. That's why I pulled back. So that's why I um, jumped back so beautifully. You know, it's 11% up on Ethereum today, but we only just broke all time high to the Bitcoin pair. I see this thing blasting away to the top. Same as all of them. Lots of amazing fundamental news on DOT today. Lots of amazing fundamental dot, uh, news on DOT and Kusama today. So that's going to be covered in the later show. So these are not moving coincidentally. Um, the charts will tell you that the move is incoming and then the fundamentals usually follow the charts. That's exactly what happened. We told you there's going to be a move. We didn't know what would cause the move, but we now know that what caused the move. And so the, the, the charts went first, the fundamentals followed. Um, and I think, again, Dot and Kusama, we're going to break the news later on the show. We're going to talk about why uh, Dot and Kusama are doing so well. But again, unbelievable, unbelievable moves. And if you were in Dot and Kusama, you made 20, 30, 40% on your Bitcoin and 20, 30, 40% on your, on your BTC, on your ETH. I spoke to Fred this morning. And I mean, he tells me he's got COVID. Uh, he does have COVID. But he, he's been trading in bed. The first thing he said to me, is he, made, I said, I, he said, I made like 20% more Bitcoin trading Dot. Because Sheldon told me to. Well done, buddy. Super proud of you. And <laughs> super proud. I'm proud of all of you for relaxing a bit. We are making the right currencies. It's a green day. It's a celebration day. It's a good day. Don't worry about the damn uh, USDT crap coin. Um, and I think to add there, so guys, what 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 end of the day, what we're saying now and where we're starting to get now is you know, DOT has only just gotten going. DOT is still brilliant to the Bitcoin Ethereum pair to still be stocking up on DOT. We know it's one of the ones that's clearly showing us it's one of the ones that are going against these coins when the times get bad. Now, what I mean by that is they all dump. Every single coin is going to dump. What bounces first and what bounces quicker? That's what matters through all of this. We can see Kusama is hot. We can see DOT is hot. Link, I'm telling you, this coin is going to be hot. That It's going to do very, very, very well. Theta is going to be hot. So to the USDT, they pull him back. Um, but we know bigger picture, they're looking good. So what does this mean now, guys? Is your bags in the right place right now? Firstly, we said Ethereum is getting to the point where it's going to be calm. So to turn some more of your Ethereum into Bitcoin, great decision. Now, what do you do with another section of that? Is to make sure that you guys have the right bags for this month so that we can make the true currencies. We see what binds it quick, and we see that there's a lot of Ethereum to be diversified into all of the coins, which means even if Bitcoin runs, we have the Ethereum backing to the alts. They're going to run with it. So make sure that we are easing. We're starting to diversify a bit of our Ethereum into Bitcoin, into Cardano, into Zoll, into BNB. Because having a look at BNB, it's had a beautiful pullback. Let's just see here. That's the USDT. Get the charts going. Cool. Now, if we have a look at BNB to Ethereum, that's my buy zone. This is a beautiful buy zone for BNB to Ethereum. So BNB is definitely a one to stock up on your bag. Dot, definitely, definitely, definitely. Litecoin, the only thing is with Litecoin is it hasn't had the big uh, jump from Ethereum just yet, but it's done very well dollar value and very well to the BTC value. So yeah. Dot might be the slower, or uh, Litecoin might be the slower one to jump out of the gates for a while. So for now, Litecoin is good, but I'll definitely turn some of my Litecoin into Bitcoin now because um, it's going to slow down for a little bit. So, so Litecoin, I'm easing off a bit. And that might be the same thing with Bitcoin Cash. The only difference with Bitcoin Cash is it did have a very strong pullback. Uh, but to the, the, the bigger, to the BTC pair, it is, it is looking for a pullback, definitely. So Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, I'm starting to turn a bit of that into Bitcoin now because we want to continue. That's the Bitcoin Cash to the Bitcoin. And, you know, we Remember hit a very key resistance. Go for it. Those are proof of work coins. They mine the same way that Bitcoin's mined. They mined with energy inefficiency using a lot of coal energy, if you were to read into the Elon tweet. So those are going to suffer just as much as Bitcoin's going to suffer, or maybe even more than Bitcoin's going to suffer. I, I must say, Sheldon, I think that I wouldn't write off Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin just yet. I think this is just a hiccup. I think this is just going to be, there's going to be a quick bounce and they're going to carry on running. In fact, I think there's going to be a quick bounce and this whole market's going to carry on running. Because there's no substance to the Elon Musk tweet. There's no substance. 
What did they say in that tweet? They're not selling their Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're buying Bitcoin. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, hold on. Let, let, let's look at the tweets. Just let's just look at the tweets. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to a more sustainable energy. We're also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than one percent of Bitcoin's energy transaction. Exactly. What is the cryptocurrency that would use less than one percent Bitcoin transaction? I'll tell you, Ethereum. When Ethereum moves to proof of stake, they are going to start buying Ethereum. Cardano. Cardano is already on, uh, on proof of stake. They're going to start buying Cardano. They're saying they believe in cryptocurrencies. They are looking to for other cryptocurrencies that are, that are not as energy inefficient. What does that mean? It means proof of stake coins. Proof mm -hmm. of stake. People are saying, look at new tweets. So let's have a look here. Let's look at let's look at the new tweet. Is there a new tweet from Elon Musk? Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's see. see. I don't see a new tweet. Let's have a look. Could be. Could be that I just didn't re uh, refresh my Twitter page. Doesn't no. look like it. Okay. So he says energy usage trends over the last couple of months. This is insane. Is insane. Um, we'll, we'll you know, Brian, they have to protect their name. But end of the day, we know what they're doing behind this sort of thing. Look, that they're look, stocking look. up on the right coins. That's all they're doing. Look, why didn't Elon write this out? Because this is a company statement. Some board of, someone on the board of directors, you know, like, let me explain to you how a board of directors works, because a lot of people don't know how a board of directors works. Board of directors are there to make sure that everything in the company is compliant and that the CEO isn't doing whatever he wants to do without taking any consideration. And every big company must have a board of directors. And in the board of directors, you often get these conservative suits who come onto the board of directors and manage the board of directors. And they come to a board meeting and all they do is they like a wet, soggy blanket, basically. They come there and they put like a wet blanket on ideas. And this is exactly what happens. Some, some asshole board director said, oh, you know, we are, we are, we are a, 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 a sustainable energy company and we're encouraging people to use this Bitcoin. And by the way, look at this one asshole chart that he, the guy didn't do any research. And that's what happened. And it's bullshit. Uh, in fact, on the show later today, we're actually, actually going to compare the mining costs of gold with the mining costs of Bitcoin. And what you'll see is that if you want to mine gold, the energy used to mine gold is way higher than the energy used to mine the equivalent in Bitcoin. So, I mean, you know, and also what you can see if you read between the lines, what happened here? What happened in this board meeting? We are looking at other cryptocurrencies. What that means is that in this board meeting, what obviously happened was they said, we believe in cryptocurrencies. We're worried about the energy consumptions in Bitcoin. One of the other guys put up there and said, well, why don't we explore other cryptocurrencies? And then everybody said, yes, 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 yes. And what are the other cryptocurrencies? Cardano, Ethereum, uh, all that. So watch out, watch out, watch out. And I also think that Tesla, people buying Tesla for Bitcoin was never going to be a big contributor to Bitcoin's balance sheet. And they also said, we are not selling any Bitcoin. Okay, so they're not going to sell any Bitcoin. So... Guys, it's hogwash. This will blow over by tomorrow. If you were looking for a time to buy some cheap Bitcoin, start laddering in today. If you were looking for a time to buy cheap altcoins, buy the ones that we've been telling you, the big altcoins, Link, Cardano. Uh, what else? Kusama. Although I must say... The, Yo, the, the, one thing, the, Grant, can I stop you quickly? 20,000 live. 20,000. It means the banter bags wasn't all. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. Love awesome. 20,000 20, of you watching this live. I've never seen anything like this, but... I mean, on a day like, I should be in bed today. I'm 95% got COVID. Um, <laughs> I, I should be in bed. I'm here. I'm, here. I'm here making sure that you guys get crypto love and crypto wisdom with my brother, Sheldino. Um, oh, Sheldino, what else? Anything else that we okay. should be so, Okay, so I think let's narrow it to, let, let's drop it down. And I would love you to give your top five, six bags now uh, as an opinion. My definite is obviously DOT, is Chainlink, Cardano. Uni is a big one. I still think Uni has got a lot of growth to go. Kusama, definitely. Uh, you know, any of them that we've been speaking about, we've been choosing good fundamental coins with. You know, even Solana, it's had a great, great, great special today. You know, it's sitting at $41.7. That, that's a great special for, for you to be stocking up. Um, I, got, I got hit yesterday. I had a buy order at uh, 43.20, which got hit. Well, Remember, yeah, beautiful, and I and you still got some cash, right? I still, got, I still got some cash. I'm still got some cash, but still, you said it will go down to forty three twenty. It was at forty six. I said there's no way this thing's going to forty three twenty. I spent 
I bought uh, live on the show yesterday, I think, uh, a thousand tokens, and then I bought another thousand tokens at 43.20. Um, so again, great opportunity to load up on Solana. Great, great, great opportunity to load up on Solana. Dot and Kusama, long term, absolutely fucking lutely, yes. Um, short term, they reacted to some news yesterday. That's the big. That, that's the big caution here. Uh, do you want to be buying at the uh, after the news? I would wait for them to breathe a little bit. Um, yeah. Dot you know, is still one definitely to, you know, just add a bit of new, but that coin's at the, it's absolutely still very far uh, from any movement compared to what other is. So Dot is still, look how beautiful, you know, the market just pulled back a bit. We had a retracement here. Now the market's going up again. Look at this, the, the Dot to Ethereum. Now we're on 14% for the day. Look how quickly it's reacting to the bounce. As soon as Bitcoin just goes to 53 again, just watch where Dot is. And you can see that's the main thing. What is bouncing out first of the gate after a dump? Then you know you've chosen the right coins. You show me one other channel today that can put their hand on their heart and say, we made money today. There's no, there's no other channel in the world. Because they haven't caught on yet, guys. They haven't caught on to our strategy yet. They haven't caught on to our strategy. And we will see. Um, let's look at, there is a super chat here. People always say we don't look at the super chat here. Uh, Do Kwan interview has to be done. Cool. Let's get Do Kwan on the line quickly. Um, and get him back onto crypto banter. The guy is a legend. Um, I actually spoke to him last night uh, on on uh, uh, Telegram. I'll get him on. I'll get him on the on the line. Um, what else? What else? What I, else? What I else? just want to show. So our phantom, all three profit zones. Boom, boom, boom. That was good. So we got that. Now for any of those that did take great profits, your good farming opportunity between forty five and fifty five cents. Go buy back a, a good amount of Phantom again because that's going to then take you for the next wave. So if there is another strong pullback to those zones, we'll have a look again tomorrow. Uh, anywhere between 45 cents and 55 cents. Go buy some more of that Phantom back with all the profits you've made. Uh, stock up and we can then ride the new. Remember, we said it was for a farming opportunity. I also believe it will go over a dollar. Uh, I think it will go close to $2 at some point as well. So this was a brilliant farming opportunity for us over there. Solana's still good. Dot. Let's just keep... You know, if you don't know what to do today, go look at your whole portfolio, go look where everything is sitting and make sure you've just categorized it for the next month in the right bags. Do that because this is the chance for us to make a great amount of Ethereum and a great uh, amount of Bitcoin. We'll see as we go, but you know what? We're going to make some good currency. Just make sure your, your portfolio is in the right places. Let's say this today. Either you are selling Ethereum to buy big alts or you are selling Ethereum to buy Bitcoin, or you both. are using... I think do or, both. Or you are using US dollars to buy big cap altcoins. If you are not doing one of those three, switch off your computer and don't look at it again today because you're yeah. going to make trading mistakes. I know some of you are tempted to sell. I know some of you are worried. Today is not the sell day. Today is not the sell day. This is not it. This is the buy day. Don't this be the sheep, guys. Because guess what? A whale's going to come buy your coins. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe one more leg down. So <laughs> what? So we buy a little bit down. We buy a little bit in the other leg down. This is not the end of crypto. We haven't even started yet. Don't go out there and buy small shit coins. This is not the right time. Buy the big altcoins today. Cash out your ETH and buy the big altcoins today. Look at the ones that have been the hardest hit against the shit coin currency. Um, and we can, you can do that by going to coin360, coin360.com and just scroll. What are the ones that have been hit the hardest? Find the ones that have been hit the hardest. Don't buy the dog coins. The dog coins are finished. The, the dog coin trend is now finished. That's, that's game over. Um, but look Don't at the buy the shit coin. What is that? That comes with five coins in it, eh? Don't buy the shit coin. The dumb coin. Dumb coin. Dumb coin. Dumb coin. Dumb coin. Yeah, the dumb, coin, the dumb coin collapsed. We told you guys that it would. We told you guys that there was too much dumb money in the market. And Vitalik ended it. He, Vitalik ended it. And I actually got that spreadsheet going, eh? Mama Snap has been updating it. So I think we can give a nice update on that as well to see what has happened to dumb coin. Yeah, I love Mama Snapper. Mama Snapper doing, Mama Snapper doing her work. Anything else, Sheldino? That's it for now, buddy. I think it's just to get the calmness and to understand, guys, you've made money today. Relax. Turn off the computer. Just relax for the day. Bigger picture. We are good. We are really good. You have, again, three options. Sell Ethereum, buy large cap alts. Sell Ethereum, buy Bitcoin. Sell US dollars, buy Bitcoin or any large cap alt. That's what you do today. Otherwise, what you do is you take your girlfriend out to lunch 
um, you go and chill. You go, go to sleep. I mean, I see three o'clock in the morning for some of you. Go to sleep. This is it. Maybe you'll wake up, the market will be better. I guarantee you when you wake up, if you follow our strategy, you are, gonna, you are going to have made more Ethereum. That's what it's about. Guys, we will see you again later. Sheldino, thank you, my friend, my brother. Always, buddy. Have a great day, guys. All righty. So we're back later today, 10 a.m. EST, to bring you crypto love and to bring you crypto wisdom. Um, I'm going to talk to you about what happened. I'm going to talk to you about the correction. I'm going to talk to you about a whole lot of other things. Don't miss that episode. I'll see you again later. I'm Chris and Ryan signing off. Crypto Banter is a social podcast for entertainment purposes only. All opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, and callers should not be construed as financial advice. Views expressed by guests and hosts do not reflect the views of the station. Listeners are encouraged to do their own research.